Happy holidays and Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm Kristen Vallis. I'm a quantum numerologist, wealth expansion coach, and certified brain game coach. And today we have some pretty intense energy. And one of the reasons why I'm coming on a little later than I normally do, because I was having to feel all the feels this morning that were coming up. And, you know, we've had this... Um, beautiful cleansing rain here in Los Angeles uh, over the past, I'd say, 36 to 40 hours. And, um, and now the sun is starting to come out. And it's just so perfect for what we've been experiencing. And yet the energy today is quite intense. It's not what we would normally desire for a holiday celebration. And, um, and yet it's here and there's a gift in it for each one of us. And so that is the invitation today is to see the gift in this of what is rising up, of what is um, being presented today because there is a lot rising up and there is newness being presented today in that um, there's new information coming in or some awareness of something that needs to shift. And it's so intense today. It's this burning desire in our hearts that we can't ignore anymore. And so welcome if you're on the live or on the replay, let me know that you're here and how you're feeling today because you know, this energy is, is really powerful and it's here to assist us. And I think that's really the invitation is see the gift in this. We have the seven of hearts and we have a five energy day, which doubles up that five energy of the year. Plus we have the eight energy month. So it is very, very emotional today. We're feeling all the feels and, and the heart really wants to be heard. And so, you know, we're being shown today, if we're out of alignment, if we're out of integrity with our, our true self, our true essence, our values, our belief systems that are, um, you know, the driving force of us today, and really looking at our belief systems and have they been serving us or does something need to change with that we're going to be called to do that today we're feeling that and so you know as things are are coming in it's like we're reaching that breaking point we're feeling the, the fire of transformation and i actually pulled a couple of cards today just to kind of um cater specifically to the people who are watching this so you know we did get the fire card that fire of transformation and it's so interesting because yesterday i was live in the creators group and i used the dragon cards we worked with the dragons yesterday and then today the dragons came up again through a, a completely non-dragon deck um, this is my lemurian deck and here they are the dragons so this is the fire the kundalini energy rising this is that fire within that just won't be ignored anymore and so we're feeling that rise up today and it it's just like you can't ignore your purpose anymore you can't ignore if you if you've been out of integrity if you've been out of alignment if you're celebrating with family today and you've been mm, less than vulnerable or truthful about your how you see things in the world right now your desire to rise higher in love your desire for there to be more love in the world which is what We've been talking about for weeks now, but especially since the full moon when we moved into this heart energy. This is really powerful this time of year because it's the only month in the entire year when we have all the suits of the hearts. And so we're feeling things very intensely right now, and this is very much by design. And so what's rising up today for you as it comes up be willing to feel all the feels be willing to see it be willing to speak your truth but in a way of of a place of higher love it's not about let me see if i can get that in the center here it's not about um being right the need to be right it's not about bringing people to your side or um or anything like that because this fire is asking us to integrate duality. It's asking us to integrate the, um, the, 
the darkness and the light, the shadow and the and the light. So, you know, first doing that within ourselves. And as we do that, that's where we gain our power. That's why you see that that swirling, integrating energy in the picture, because it's about um, embracing the shadow. Once we embrace the shadow, instead of instead of trying to push it away, so whatever's rising today to be seen, embrace it and bring it in to all of who you are, because it's about transmuting that shadow into more light, amplifying more love by doing that, instead of trying to push the shadow away. So whatever you see within yourself or whatever you see rising in the collective in the world today, um, it's really about how can we embrace all of this and love all of it unconditionally in a bigger way? And how can we start communicating that? So if you're feeling today um, that you're not being heard or seen, or um, understood, if you're feeling misunderstood, and not just today, but in general, right? If you're feeling that, but it could be really coming to a head today, you may wanna take a look within yourself and look at see what words you're using to express yourself. And are they really in alignment with what you're trying to express? Are you really being willing to be vulnerable in what you're saying? and not have any attachment to, to what the reaction is that you may receive from anyone outside of you. Because when you are willing to do that, um, the, it shifts everything. You'll come into alignment and the people who are going to resonate with your big message are going to show up and the people who don't will resonate out and that's none of your business. The allowing and the trust for that and it's difficult sometimes when it comes to family, right? And you know, we, 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 this fear rises up. We don't want to create separation between us and our family. And you know, the point is not to you know, take sides and create separation. This is about, oh, how do I explain this? See, this is what this card is about. Like there's not always words. <laughs> that we we can put to describe an, a, a way of being and a way of loving that we've never done before. And so this is this is what I'm talking about is that we're we're creating a new love language. You know, you may have started hearing about light language coming through. And this is the um, this is the the what I'm talking about with how we communicate. We're learning to communicate at a higher frequency level and so through that communication uh, we will feel more understood as we learn to rise into that as we learn to be more vulnerable in our communication as we learn to choose our words very carefully and um and not rush through it and not not um be attached to the again to the reaction that we fear we may receive from other people, we may actually be delighted when we find um, when we find out what people actually think, you know, there may be people in your life that because you haven't been as forthcoming as you could, you haven't been as honest as maybe you could with what's in your heart, they've also reflected that back to you in their lack of ability to do the same. You see, when we open up to be vulnerable, when we open up to speak our truth and and share our what's in our hearts in a loving way, in a um, just honest, integral way, in alignment with our values and who we are, when we share the essence of us, the truth of who we are, it's, it's not about ideas and belief systems, it's about our essence that we've been talking about all week, that, that pure childlike wonder, vulnerability, um, you know, the way children come in and love before they're conditioned by the world to, you know, create separation and hate and all of those things. That's what I'm talking about. That, that is what, um, that is what we're being called into today and moving forward is when we tap into that, when we tap into the realness, the rawness of who we are at our core, at a soul level, that is when 
um, we are able to experience this truly unconditional love in within ourselves and within our relationships around us and within the world. And we're being called to rise higher into that today and as we move forward into 2022, and we'll be practicing this in 2022 and moving into this even more fully as the year progresses. And so um, it's about the willingness to be able to do that, to um, be able to, to, the willingness to learn how to do that, the willingness to commit to rising higher and let go and let go of anything that is in this world right now that isn't in alignment with that. So if it's relationships, if it's um, things in your physical environment, things in your world, if it's about, um, I don't know, needing to move, change homes, change locations, any, any changes that need to come in, changes with your purpose for sure what you're doing in the world where you spend the most of your most of your time trusting that if you step fully into your purpose which is the the fullest expression of you and what you love and so when you do that you will receive all of the money all of the resources and all of the love that you could ever desire because you'll be living life from the inside out instead of from the outside in and that is what this energy is calling us into, is the willingness to trust that if you leap into that unknown, if you leap into those higher states of love, if you leap into the trust of knowing that when you walk into life fully as yourself and, you, and you're willing to learn who you are and continue to expand in that understanding and continue to expand and grow who you are spiritually and um, emotionally and physically and mentally, all of the things, when you commit to that, when you commit to that kind of expansion and forward movement, your whole life changes. And so today the gift is in that willingness to leap forward, leap forward into the unknown leap forward into the depths of your soul, of the soul of who you are, and know that that is the biggest gift you can give to yourself and to the world. So if you're feeling the call to leap forward, I put a little note in the comments about um, the brain game. It's starting in January, right in the first week. We're starting with the brain game, and the whole point of the brain game is to help you get into how how deeply beautiful and amazing and powerful you are by leaping into that that um that shadow at first and then integrating it and bringing it into how you can become the fullest expression of conscious creation the the fullest expression of being a conscious creator in the world that you can and that you're capable of and bringing that big message to the world, experiencing the fulfillment, the peace, the ease, the freedom that comes with doing that and really living full out, not hiding anymore. And if you're feeling the pull, if you, if you know this is what you want, even though you don't know how to do it, the brain game is for you. Set up a chat with me. I put a link in the comments that you can use to set up a chat with me next week and we can just talk about you know what are you facing and what are you wanting to do and what are the challenges for you and can the brain game help you with this i'm pretty confident it can help you if this is where you're at right now so many of us are this is really why i chose this time to um, start a new round of the brain game because the timing of it is just so in alignment with what we're being pulled to do, what we're feeling right now. And um, I'm open here to help you do just that, to really dive into your purpose, understand yourself better, and start living full out. By the time you come out of that 10 weeks, you'll be doing the things. You won't just have learned a bunch of stuff that now you have to figure out how to apply. 
you'll actually be doing it, you'll actually be moving forward. So if you're feeling that discomfort today, that need to make a change, this is it. So click that link if, if you feel that call and uh, let's set up a chat. I'm here to assist you. Love you guys, have a beautiful holiday, whether you're celebrating it with family and friends or whether you are um, choosing to celebrate it by yourself or perhaps, you know, circumstances have created that you'll, you'll be celebrating it by yourself. But regardless, um, take that time for yourself and prioritize yourself, prioritize your feelings, prioritize your self-love, your purpose, your expression of yourself in some way today and moving forward because this is the call and this is where the gifts are, this is where the blessings are, this is where the momentum is and um, really building that into 2022 to get things off to a rip-roaring start. So um, love you guys. Merry Christmas.